Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm bringing you an easy recipe. I found it somehow, and I'll try to find out where I found it from, but I decided to try it, so I'm going to try it with you. So this is called the No Yeast Rolls, and this is flour. This is a half, a teaspoon and a half of bacon powder and salt. And it's also a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt that's going in there. Okay. This is the milk. And that's going in there. Real easy. Now, this is the mayonnaise. Yes, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Make sure you get all that little mayonnaise in there. Figure I come on and try it with my friends. How's everybody doing? I am doing fine. How's your quarantine doing? Make sure I'll right there. put these over there to the side and mix this up in here. Now you can also mix this up in the bag that I'm going to put this in, but I wanted to mix it in here. Mix it up real good. I don't think that I could do it with my hand in the bag. It looks mixing up really, really good. Well, I got some flour. That's my accident for the day. Yeah, I think it would have been hard for me to do it in the bag. And I think what I'm going to do, instead of trying to put it in a bag and squeeze it out, I'm going to put this in little by little. For some reason or other, I think it needs a little more milk. We'll see in a minute. Maybe not. Well, it mixes up really nice. I'll tell you that. don't want to mix it too much because I'm just trying to get all the flour in and everything. I think what I'm going to do, yeah, because it needs just a little just a little bit more milk and a knife, of course. Just a tad bit of milk. A little bit of milk. I'm going to wipe that up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can mix this into the bag, or you can mix this in a bowl, or you can mix it right in one of these. And then this is the bag, and they want you to cut the end off, but I'm not going to do that because I'm, my hands are kind of bothering me. It's been like this crazy day, 
wigs been damp, and then it's been sunny, and then it's been cold, and it's been crazy. So this is the consistency right here. Okay, so let's put these in and see what happens. Now it takes 18 to 20 minutes to bake them. So we'll see. Oh, make sure you grease your, your little pan, by the way. I'm putting this in a pie in a muffin tin. And I'll tell you how, you know that I come back and I'll tell you how it worked. If it worked at all. It must work because, like I said, I got the recipe and I've got two different recipes of it. So it must work. So. But we shall see. Going in very easy, so that's good. I can handle this. I don't think I'd be able to handle the bag. Not today, anyway. So let's finish this. I kind of like this. I haven't made rolls in a while. I'm going to use my bread maker, but I'm waiting for it. And I can make, I'm going to make some yeast, but I'm also waiting for some yeast because yeast takes a while to blend, you know, to, to, to make. It takes like four to five days. And I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but I will. And when I do, I'll come on and show you. One thing about being quarantined, although I miss them very much, my granddaughters are not here very much because their mother's studying from home and she's working from home. So, okay, so we're going to Bring these down, put these in the oven, see what happens. And then, be right back and then I'll tell you. First of all, I gotta get out. Okay. Mm. Sometimes that just hurts. Other times, not so much. Went to the oven, it goes 375 degrees. All this is going into the sink. Watch these later.
than that, my friends, is it. So I'll, I'll come back later and show you the finished product, no matter what it looks like. So if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I will talk to you later. I'll be back later with the finished product. I love you. Take care. God bless.